I would do that one too. That was, yeah, this one. This one? That was like a three when you did it. Yeah. Back there. Hi, Bill. <clears throat> All right. What's going on with you? <clears throat> um, Welcome. Hello. My left shoulder still has limited range of motion. Okay. What's the pain level right now? Probably a two today. A two? Okay. What do you want to happen instead? I would like the left arm to mirror the right arm in range of motion. Okay. And be able to do the same activities. Okay. Yeah. Face me for a moment. The part of that arm right forward. Can you touch your clavicle right there? A little bit right there, you know, cover your navel. I'll go ahead and go back 50. Kidney 27. Okay, let's try that. Touch that again. Bottom and top lip. And saber. That a little bit? Yeah. There. Saber. Yep. Good. And tug your hair a little bit. Hydration. Both arms. Is this okay with that shoulder? Mm -hmm. Good. Check your central. That works. Good. Okay. Now back to your shoulder. Yes. That's, you don't want it to stay there. How, what do you want to happen instead? So let's say if we can fashion a goal statement. Right? Mm. I want my left shoulder to be to mirror the activity on the right. Okay. What activity is the right doing? The right can go lift up, it can go climb back. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes so, we can go, what's that keeping you from doing? Well, I, if, well, it's hard for like putting a bra on or something like that. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm doing some Qigong movements, like it's hard to okay. have my hands on my kidney points, you know, in the back. Yeah. So, I would like freedom of movement to do that with okay. ease. Okay. So we had to talk to you about your shoulder not having that and you wanted to have that. What would be a, a sentence you could say that would mm -hmm. basically an affirmation sound? <clears throat> My shoulder moves with ease and all ranges of motion. Okay. Put your arms up. That No, say that. My shoulder moves with ease in all ranges of motion. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like the truth. Say it the opposite way. My shoulder does not. My shoulder does not does not move in all ranges of motion. Hold that. See, that's a solid congruent lock. That means your subconscious yes. knows that's the truth. Yes. That's not what you want to happen. So when you okay. said the other statement, it shows that's a stretch in your belief system right now. But that's what we're trying to update. So. Okay. Shoulder believes that as well. Go back to the statement again. One more time. My shoulder. My shoulder moves freely in all ranges of motion. Okay, good. So that shows some kind of scrambling in the There's brain. Like that's not the truth right now, but that's mm -hmm. what we want to happen. Yes. All right. So again, what's the pain level right now? Well, it's maybe okay. maybe it's a three now that we've three. been. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to. <laughs> and we can see the difference in range. So we'll check that again. Yeah. Again. Okay. All right. Let's go face up on the table. I think we'll just use level one muscles right now. If some other stuff comes up from the shoulder, I'll throw some level two muscles in there. Okay. So you're here first, hold out to the side right there. Good. Supraspinatus. And that one, hold it. No. Okay. Can you touch right there? Circulate. Oh. That works. Okay. Rub all in there. I'll come back here. Touch right there again. More of that. <laughs> you know, so you got stronger? It got stronger. Yep. Go on to the rib wall. Okay. Right there. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sounds right underneath right there. Okay. Try that. Okay. Take your hand away. Hold. Solid. Do it one more time. Set it again. 
Good. Okay. You can scoot to the edge every time. And tuck your hand under the mouth. Push that down. Okay, scoot to that too. A little bit more. Push that down. That side. Yeah. A little bit there too. Go back to the side. Two. Something on the spine. We're just moving the fascia straight up and down. Do whatever I can. Tuck on there. And push down. That's better. Get tuck on the other side. And hold that. Yeah, loops on spine. Good. All right, we're going to test through some muscles. Peck, clavicular head. Hold right there. That one's going off. Yeah. This one up. Both of those. Let it go. So we're going to write these down. What goes off? So that was stomach. We had both sides of the stomach over here. So both sides went off on the peck. Look at the lat. Turn this in. Keep your elbow straight. Hold it in like that. Okay. That one. Does that bother the shoulder? Mm -hmm. Okay. That one. Hold it there. That feels solid here. Yeah, more it solid. Than it. it does, doesn't it? So we come back here, hold it in. Yeah. Yeah, it's it not compared to that. It's not solid. So yeah. the left side spleen. And then just look at your subscap. Go in here. Right. Let it fall down as much as you can. Good. Hold that down. Yeah. Huh. The right side. <laughs> you said you had broken the right I had. side. Yes, I had. It. Okay. Yes. So heart here is right side. <clears throat> uh, look at quadriceps. Bend it. Hold toward your head. Good. Hold your foot straight up. Hold both up together. That's good. Look. This one. Hold towards your head. Hold your foot up. Hold the whole thing up. Okay, good. Look at bladder. Flex this up and around right there, just like that, and hold it. Good. This one up and around. Okay, that's good. Look at kidney. Up like that. Kick up in the air. Hold it up like that. Your kidney. So as this side, both sides so as. Okay. Hmm. Wait, where's my bio? <laughs> Good. Both sides on the kit. Look at that. Glute medius. Hold out to the side this way. Okay. <laughs> hold out to the side that way. Nope. Medius is what most of uh, circulation. Circulation. Mm -hmm. So that's your left. Glute medius. Got it. Teres minor. Hold back that way. Is that okay? Okay. Let's try this one. Hold back. That feel different. Let's try that again. Most. Hold it. Solid. Mm -hmm. Make it sure. Hold it back. A little bit. A little shaky. A little, a little bit. Shaky. A little shaky. Completely off, but it's not like the other side. No. Write that down. So left side, triple warmer. Golf letter. Hold that. A little bit wobbly. Anterior deltoid. That one. That one's yeah, not all the way off, but not like the other side. Yeah. Could be better. Mm -hmm. Twelve ladder. On the left. Let's look at the other peck up here. It's the sternal head. Hold that way. Hold it. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Just like that. Hold that way. Feel different, doesn't it? Yeah. Pick it up. It's there, but it's still not 
as strong as the other side. So a little bit. Liver on the left. Get the serratus up and reach up that way. Good. Since we're here, I'm going to look at this other deltoid. Hold that way. I'm going to push down to your feet. Okay. Sit. Hold up that way. Good. Good. Large intestine. Good. Twist in. Hold way up and out. Good. That one. Up and out. Head. <laughs> Left side. The serratus was what? Um, what organ? What? Uh, That's lung. Lung. So left side. Gosh, I lost it as well. All right. So now we check alarm points. Yeah. So you can stay right there. Hold steady right here. Right here. Okay. Ah, bladder. It's over. Bladder's over. We have a, a different color. So bladder is our over energy right there. Okay. We look at our guideline again for this type of formula. All we're doing is going clockwise to the closest yin under. Where is it? We don't even have to go clockwise. <laughs> It's inside the same element. The closest yin under is kidney, right next to the bladder. Level four, we go over those low points where a single acupuncture point that many times can move the energy quickly into the other meridian. We don't know those yet. So let's look at kidney. So what was your so as. So as. So this guy, kick up in the air. Yep. So we have both sides. Hmm. So what we're going to do first, since then we have both, is I'm going to do the spine a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can end up with just one. <laughs> this, isn't not, this isn't the one point yet, but we have one that's sort of strong on that side. This one feels weaker. Let's try this. Up like that. That's the weak guy. This one. That woke up that side better. It did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one, now let's see what is going to be our one point. Cover your navel right there. There's a, there's a lymphatic spot. Hold that up. Nope. Go to the vascular point right at the base of the skull. Mm -hmm. Turn that up. Boom. That worked really good. Mm -hmm. It did. Okay, drop that. Uh, touch the end of the meridian right there. Turn this up. Let that go. I'll touch the acupuncture point right here. Hold that up. Nope. <laughs> Looks like the vascular point. Maybe the muscle. Just touch it inside right there and like right on the muscle. Yeah, I felt like the vascular point was the strongest. The strongest. That immediately is like, boom, yeah. does not move at all. That was the strongest. All right, so we're going to keep hold of that mm -hmm. and then check these other muscles that were unlocked okay. before. Okay, go back around. Go backwards, I guess. <laughs> Uh, fascia lap, this guy up here. Yep. Take your hand away. Hold it. Uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. Yeah. And strengthen that guy. Mm -hmm. The lat over here. Hold that into your side. Oh yeah, that works good. Mm -hmm. This pec here. That works good. That's our earth element. Both pecs. It was both these guys. Oh, I'm pushing that way. Oh. Yep, it worked good there too. Mm -hmm. And since we're there, we're going to take your subscap on the right. Push that down. That works too. Mm -hmm. What else we had? Oh, the other pack. Switch your hands again. <laughs> Let's see this up again. It was this. The liver and the sternum. Yeah, it was that pack. Yep, hold that down and in. Yep, works good. Deltoid here. Yep, works good. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Terry's. 
Yep, Terry's back like that. I did TFL. Glued mead. Glued mead last week. Out the side. It looks like that is the correction. That's the one point. See, that's the one point that switches energy through the entire process that pretty much opens the gate or destroys the over energy so the energy can easily flow through all the channels. We're not, we don't have to rub or hold points on every single meridian when we find this kind of formula. We know that that's the dam, what breaks down the dam. Usually something downstream happens to be right next to it. Okay, So now we can hold the point for our lovely client. Oh, she thinks about the false statement. I thought the point was in the top of her head. It's at the occipital protuberance. Ah, okay. Yep, the vascular point for the psoas. Right. So I just got her head in the palm. So, and then I'm gonna ideally not let her lay on my finger because that's too much pressure. Uh -huh. so I'm turning and I'm going to it and doing that tiny little fossil stretch like we talked about. Wait for a pulse. Let some blood flow move to that muscle. Move all this energy around the meridians. Think about your goal. It's waking up. Take your right hand, cover your forehead, cover those points. Okay, move your eyes towards towards the your forehead. Just like you're rolling your eyes up a little bit. So the points at the back are different from the gallbladder points along the semispinalis, okay. They're higher up. shift. Mm -hmm. It's like throbbing it's into my fingertip back there. Mm -hmm. It's like sunshine is coming in. Yeah. What's your shoulder look like? <sighs> yeah, it's feels freer. Okay. Let's check it. First we need to check the soda. Zealand. Good. Awesome. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yes. I cover that same spot mm -hmm. back there. We're challenging that spot now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
put that down. Let's just go back and double check these muscles. Out to the side, glute knees, good. Up and out. Watch the one. This one. I'm like wanting everything to be super solid. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Good. Lat over here. One in. Mm -hmm. Good. Deltoid right here. Both of these. Hold that thing. Thing up. Good. And hold up again. This guy. Thumb scap over here. Down. Good. I think that was it. I think. Let's check your alarm point. Okay. I can use this shoulder now. You could. <laughs> Here. All right, I'm right. set up. Check your goal statement. Yeah. Get your bearing straight. Yeah. It's been a shift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all felt it. That's yeah. awesome. Goal. My shoulder feels. My shoulder moves freely and easily through all ranges of motion. Does not move at all. So you were at a two or three. Two or three, depending. Yeah. How's that pain you used to have? Yeah. It's it's like a zero to one. I mean, it's just like, I know it's there, but it's not mm -hmm. like annoying. Look range. That's better. Better. That was your, that was your that was, test. Yeah, this one. It's better. That was like a three when you did it yeah. back there. It's a zero to one with pain level, but it, okay. yeah. You can still, you still some There's training little, of the of fascia, baby. Yeah, but, range it's, of motion stuff. but it feels freer, like I, it's possible now yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yes. Keep the change. All right.